So all we're going to do from here is click on the, the blue button, create account. Okay. So we're going to create what Facebook calls a business manager. And so the business manager is what your ad accounts and what your ads are going to live under. So the business manager, you don't have to have a, a corporation or an LLC or anything, but you can name it your business name. So whatever your business name you want to run, you know, you're, you're running with and bring into the market, go to name it that. So whether it's your agency or whatever you want to, whatever your business name is, go ahead and put it right there. Perfect. And then your name and then your business email. So um, this could be a Gmail. It could be a Yahoo. It could be anything. Oh, you know what? Here, I just use this one since I have it all already. Perfect. Okay, cool. So perfect. And then as we go in deeper to the setup here, Facebook will, will email you there and you'll want to verify that email. Okay, cool. So we should be good. Now we're going to come in here to the actual setup. We'll, we'll come into the business settings and then we'll set everything up in here. And so what we're also going to do is we're going to create a folder at the top. So go ahead and, yeah, go ahead and confirm your email. Go ahead and check that email. Okay. Perfect. So we'll confirm now. And then um, it should bring us to the actual settings. And that's where we want to be. Perfect. Oh, nice. Okay. This is where the game, this is where the game starts. This is where it's at. <laughs> so now let's get rid of that tab. Let's get rid of a couple of the, of the tabs. The post attendee Zoom, X that one out. Um, X out the Facebook one. X out the biz the Facebook business one to the right. Okay, so this one. Yeah, let's get rid of that one. Let's get rid of that one. That way we could just stay focused on on what what what's open. Okay, cool. So here's where it all starts. Now at the very very top, what I want you to do is I want you to create a folder. Okay. So just like you got that entrepreneur folder at the top, the bookmarks, create another folder and call this one Ads Manager. So if you can. Oh, create another folder. Yeah, create another folder. So we'll go to um, bookmarks and just add folder. Or, or yeah, let's go. Um, let's see, if, where is it at? Is it, is it the top of that? Can you scroll up higher? No, well, let me. Okay, so if anything, just um, go back down, go get out of here and just go to, um, go to your bookmarks bar at the top and just maybe right, like maybe to the left of Panda like just hover over to the left, go to the left, try to get in between oh. Google algorithm and in between Panda. Like if you could just put the cursor like in between, like a little to the right, right there, like not, not right there, right click, right click right there and just create, add, yeah, add folder. It'll probably put it to the very right where it says other bookmarks, but that's fine. So, so right here, we're going to call this one ads manager. Ads manager. Perfect. And so this is our folder. And all we're going to do on this, on this first call is we're going to save everything that's important. We're going to save all these different tabs in here because as you come into the ads manager, it can seem way overwhelming. Like there's so much shit to click on. Like it can seem confusing, but we're going to dumb it down. We're going to save everything. And there's only a few things you'll ever need to click on ever. Um, and that's what we're going to put into the, into the folder. So let this be the first one. Let's bookmark this one. And this one's going to be business settings. So let's hit the star at the top right. Go ahead and click that star to the left, um, right there in the URL. Oh, right. uh, yeah, hit that star. This is business settings. Throw it in that folder, ads manager, and that's number one. So this is our business settings. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we're good there. Now let's click on pages right there to the left. Let's check the pages real quick. Make sure that your page is connected over here. So click on pages, pages. to the left. Yeah, down. So we'll make sure. Okay, so let's go ahead and add your page to this account. So we'll click on add, and we're gonna um, we're gonna go ahead and just add a page. So let's oh, yeah. no no up. Yeah, add a page. Click on okay. that one, and then just just type in your page right there. Right there, perfect. Add page. See, so setting up a business manager, what we really did with DC Digital Marketing is we we somewhat created an LLC within Facebook because before oh. 
before DC Digital Marketing, the, the fan page, the business page was connected to just you. Now it's connected to you and your LLC, which in this case is DC Digital Marketing. Now, LLC, I'm just using it as an example, as an analogy of what a business manager is. A business manager is now where everything lives under. Okay. So, okay. so the business page is not just you anymore. It's now part of your overall business manager. Yeah. So, so this is where your new ads will be ran out of. So perfect. So everything is now there. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and you, you don't need to save this one. You don't need to save this one, um, but we'll save ad account. So go ahead and click on ad accounts to the left ad account. Ad account. Now this okay. is where you'll, start running your new ads from. So from this point on, you're going to have a whole new ad account and this is what we'll want to set up. So go ahead and click on the blue one, add, and okay. then we're going to, we're going to name this one. I would name it the same. So go ahead and, and, um, and, and, and create new ad account. Let's, let's create new ad account. Okay. And go ahead and name it. I would name it the same as your business name. So I would, I would keep it the same DC digital marketing. That's the name of the business manager. And that's the name of the ad account. So the ad account is what is where the ads are ran from. Um, the ad account is what's tied to a credit card. The ad account is what is what the pixel is tied to. So hmm. go ahead and go my business and click create. Okay, cool. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click on your name right there in the top left. Check that circle right there. And then to the right, you're going to go manage ad account. So admin access, you're going to go manage ad account bottom and shade that to gray. Shade that to blue, I mean. Shade the gray to blue. There we go. Assign. Okay, cool. So go to add payment info. Yeah, add it, add it right here. And then you can just click on, um, you can click on next. And then just go ahead and, and add whatever right there. And I'll pause this recording. Awesome. Okay, cool. So let's hit done right there. Okay, so here's the deal. When it comes to when it comes to Facebook, like when it comes to like them wanting information or needing information, like you're gonna always be able to reach out to me. Like from this point on, way past these handful of calls, like I'm gonna always be available for you. Let's just I'm gonna just yeah. throw that out there. So you'll always you'll always have me and I I don't know everything, but I, I, I damn know, I damn near know a lot. Like I know a lot about this <laughs> shit. Like I've been in this damn thing forever for the last few years. Right. As manager. So I know a ton about it, but, but, but there's some things that come up. Like, let's say for example, your account gets freaking hacked or your account gets freaking um, um, shut down little random things. Like you don't have to worry about it, but, but if anything random happens, you'll need to reach out to Facebook. Like I won't have the answer. So you end up having to reach out to Facebook and, and, and I'll show you how to do that. But okay. if they ever, like, whenever you reach out to them, the only information they'll really ever need is they'll want to know the account number. Mm -hmm. So your ad account number is at one, three, five. So, so that right there, you'll want to bookmark this. This is your ad account number, your ad ID account number. So just go to bookmark it and just name this one ad account. So hit the star and then just hit, just, just titled it, title it ad account. Perfect. So ad account in that folder done. Perfect. Okay. So we're good. So now your ads will be ran out of this account, um, DC digital marketing. And we'll see that as we go and run the ad later on. So let's scroll down to the left. Let's go ahead and connect the Instagram account. Go ahead and click your, click Instagram account and connect your IG right there um, to the left Instagram. So go to an ad and then just go to integrate it here. You'll need to add your, um, yeah, connect your Instagram account. You'll log in if you're not logged in already. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't have an Instagram account. So oh, you don't? Okay, well, then it's all good. Okay, so you don't need this part then. I thought you did. Okay, cool. So let's X, X out of here. And then well, well, the thing is, I don't know how to set the damn thing up, so I don't know. Because the last time I tried to do it, it ended up merging my personal and the business. So I don't know how to. Yeah, that's fine. Your personal, you only need one Instagram account. So you, I wouldn't recommend creating one just for your business. Like, like mm. use yours. Like I use okay. the one that you have right now. Like that is your business. Like you are your business. Like I would, I would use that one. Okay. So do you have one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Well then, yeah. So then check that box right there. 
the mm -hmm. DC digital marketing, and then just hit finish. Okay, cool. So you're good. Is that the one right there, Dominic One White? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, you're good. Okay, cool. So now to the left, we're we're gonna be working with everything to the left. So let's scroll down. And now what we're do, what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down and we're looking for um, the next one down would be data sources. Okay. So let's hit data sources. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just actually, you know what? Um, yeah, let's let's do this now. Hit pixels, and let's just make sure we have a pixel set up. Okay, so let's add the pixel here. And this one will be digital DC digital marketing. So take away pixel, take away the word pixel, take away the 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 S, just DC digital marketing. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then continue. Okay. Okay, cool. So um, now if you have, do you have Kartra still set up? Yes, up right now. Okay. Okay, perfect. So then so then um what we can do is we can, it says right here, are you, are you ready to set up your pixel? Now that you've, you've created a pixel, you need to implement some code on your website. So let's do that. So let's go ahead and click on um, continue. You can set up your pixel later or yeah, do the second one. Complete the process installing your pixel now. Do the second one. Set up the pixel now. Yeah, click on that one. And then all you're going to do is you're going to click on manually, manually add pixel, click on that one. And then we're going to copy this right here. So go ahead and hover over right there, click, and then continue. Actually, you know what? Scroll down, scroll down. Actually, go back, hit the back right there. Yeah. And then scroll down. And we're going to make sure that all this is turned on. So scroll down. Okay. So right there where it says turn off, switch that one at the top, and then switch it back on, turn on. Okay, perfect. Now they're all blue. Okay, cool. So now hit continue. Let's just hit continue. And then what we'll do is we'll X out of here. So now. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, it's X out. yeah, you could X out. So now let's just, we might as well just go to a Kartra page real quick. Let's go to Kartra and let's just open up my pages to the left. And we can just put that code on any page. So let's click the green to the right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just go with squeeze page. Let's just, let's just get a page up just for now. You can always change it later, but mm -hmm. we want to put that code on a piece of, on a page real quick. So just click on squeeze pages to the left above. You'll see squeeze pages. And then just choose, choose any page for now. Like choose that top one, that first one, you can always change it later and then hit select. So X out of this. Hit the red, the red circle, and then you, what you did is you clicked on preview. So right. don't click on preview. Click on select, and then there, there it's selected. So now click the green one, launch builder, and now it's gonna, it's gonna bring us over here where we're gonna name the page. So name it, you know, just squeeze page. And again, you can always change it. You can always delete it. You can. This is just to get it up real quick. So That's squeeze cool. page, and then um, just put no category for now. So hit the drop down, put no category. And then at the bottom, select site, put no site. And then hit create. Okay. So the very first thing that I do is I'll name the page just like that. And then as I come in, the very, very first thing that I do when I when I come into a new page, go ahead and scroll down. This is just a, a basic tutorial that you'll see in the beginning anytime you log in. So start that and then just click just click next, keep hitting next the next freaking seven, eight times. Just click next, next, next. All this is doing is giving you a description of everything to the left-hand side. So if you've never built any pages in here, everything is to the left, but I'll, I'll give you a huge crash course on all that. Um, okay. But um, the very first thing that I do when I come into a new Kartra page is I'll always click on settings to the left. So if you, if you keep hitting next, you'll come in to the builder. Okay, so let's get started. So as we come in, the very first thing I do is I click on settings to the left and I change out the SEO parameter. I change out the page title. So what we named the page coming in was squeeze page. Mm -hmm. That's internally. But the page title, I don't want the general public to see squeeze page. Right. 
You know what I mean? I can leave it internally named and titled squeeze page, but what the public sees in the page title, that could be different, mm -hmm. right? So just like you have these three tabs open, confirm your business email, you have business settings, and then you have a Karcher tab. Mm -hmm. That's the title in the tab. Right. So right. as someone's on your Karcher page, they'll see the title in the tab and I'll want that to say something different. Okay. You know what I mean? So yeah. depending on what page that is, maybe download your free PDF or schedule your call now. Like it, it, it the page title has to be short and, and descriptive and, and just straight to the point, you know, like, like, so, so again, I wouldn't name it squeeze page. I would name it something else. Yeah. Free, free PDF, your free PDF, download your free PDF now or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, download your free PDF, download your free PDF now or something like that. So if that was a landing page, a squeeze page for the PDF, and then, and then, and then let's say, for example, they come here, they enter their name and email, they download the PDF they then go to the next page, which is a thank you page, right? Then I would create a, a second page. I would create a thank you page. I would come in. I would hit settings, page title. I would rename it. I would, I would put something like, thank you for downloading your PDF. Or if that thank you page, if, I was, if the objective was to get them to schedule a call, I would maybe change the page title, schedule your call now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because that's what they see yeah. in the title of the tab. Right. So, okay. so whatever page they're on, that's what I'm trying to name the page. Okay. You know what I mean? So, yeah, so, true. so whenever you do anything to the to the left here, you always have to scroll down. So scroll down right to the left and always apply. You have to always click that green. No, 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 to the right. Oh. Inside. No, to the left. To the left. Inside the 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 SEO parameters. So scroll down, take that cursor down right there. Okay. Yes. You always have to scroll to the bottom and click apply. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So whenever you're in the settings right here, you'll always click apply or else it wouldn't have saved. So the very first thing I do when I come on into a page, I change the page title. And then what I do, number two, hit the settings again to the left, hit mm -hmm. settings. And then what I do is I hit tracking code and I add my pixel. So to the very, very bottom, you'll see Facebook. So scroll down right there, paste in the code right there. Apply. Perfect. So you're good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the, it's a three, it's a three click exit from a Kartra page. So you're clicking three times to exit. So it all starts with the top right, that actions. So now that we clicked apply, we're good. We'll hey, come Dave. back and edit later. Hey, hey you're a... Uh... Yeah, you, your mic is still kind of kind of choppy, bro. I don't know. It's it's I'm choppy. Sorry. Yeah, it's kind of going in. It gets a little better. Let me just just keep me posted. Let me know if you can hear me. Okay. 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 So we clicked apply to the left. Now we'll come back and edit later. But right now we're gonna just exit. We just wanted the page up for the for the pixel. So okay. now let's click on actions to the top right, and it's a okay. three click exit. So we're, here's what we're going to do. Don't click on anything now, but let me explain what the three clicks are. Okay. We're going to save progress. That's click number one. And mm -hmm. then we're going to click actions again, and we're going to publish live. And then okay. we're going to click actions again, and we're going to return a dashboard. So it's a three okay. click exit. Uh -huh. Okay. So go ahead and save progress. Save progress, and then, and then X out, and then publish live. So we're going to X out of this right when this saves. So X out of that and then go back, publish live. And when you publish live, this is where you change your domain. So right here, don't X out yet. To the left, get the page link. This is where you edit your link. So hmm. once we integrate your domain to Kartra, this is where you'll hit the pencil to the right. You'll hit the edit. And then you'll you'll hit the drop down to the left. So you'll hit that drop down right where you see the URL. You'll hit that drop down. And then you'll see your domain. So once we integrate your domain, that's where you'll see your domain. So DC marketing, whatever, dot com mm -hmm. forward slash PDF or whatever. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So so that right there is where you'll you'll choose your domain. And then all you're gonna do is customize that back end the S Z O one, like you'll just name that whatever the page is. 
Okay. But okay. everything's gonna be tied to your domain, not this, not this Dominique White dot Karcher dot com link. Right. So okay. We'll integrate your domain when we get there. So for now, just 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 edit that. Put PDF or your free download or download thank or download now or whatever. Just put anything for now. And so what we just did is we just added the pixel to the page. So what you always want to do when you save it, so hit the check mark, just save it. What you always want to do is copy it, open it up, open up a new tab and paste in and open up that page. So copy that link, open it up in a new tab, paste it in and, and, and open it up. You want Facebook to read it for the first time. So go ahead and copy, copy that link. All right. Yeah. So copy that, open it up in a new tab. That way Facebook can read it for the first time. And do you have your do you have your Facebook Pixel help? Do you have a Facebook Pixel helper installed? I don't think so. So right there, um, in the top right, mm -hmm. click on the little hammer. Yeah, click on that one. Do you have your Pixel helper over here? Um, no. So you have um. Okay, so let's let's do that real quick. Open up a new tab, go to Google, and just install this real quick. It's simple. Go to Google and then just search um, Facebook Pixel Helper. Yeah, so go to Google and then just type. Yeah, you could do it there. Facebook Pixel Helper. This right here is, a, is just a free plugin, and and it allows you to 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 see if your Pixel has been installed oh, correctly. Actually, you do have it. Yeah. So I didn't I didn't see it up there though. Where's it at? Let's um. Okay, perfect. So it's right there. Okay, okay, then yeah, re-enable re it. Perfect. Okay, cool. So let's hit the hammer thing again. Yeah, let's X out and let's see if it's over here now. Um, there it is. Okay, cool. So maybe, maybe, um, maybe pin it. Can you pin it? Actually, it's already pinned. So it's, it's good. So you're good. Yep, okay, cool. So now yep. go back to the Karcher page and refresh it. So not this one, the other one that's open. Oh. Yeah, the one, yeah, the one that you just published live and yeah, this one. So refresh this one. And now if you, if you look at the pixel helper, where did it go? Oh, right here. Yeah, so click it. And then there's your pixel helper. So pin it, hit that little pin to the right. Yes, yeah, let's pin it. Okay, there it goes right there. Click on the, click on it now, the blue and the number two, click on that. And you'll see that your pixel has been installed correctly. Oh, nice. So DC digital marketing, there's your pixel. And and I always naming it is one thing, but I'll always when it comes to a pixel and, and knowing if it's the right one, I'll always just remember the last four digits. 9056. 9056. That's your pixel. 9056. Okay. okay. So so I'm always paying attention to the numbers, but also the title, DC digital marketing. So um so that right there just, just shows that your pixel has been read by Facebook for the first time. It's been installed correctly and we're good. So now let's go back to the business settings and we're going to go ahead and um, we won't bookmark the pixel. So let's close this. Yeah. Close, close the cartridge, close this right here. Close right there. Cl click close on, on the published right. page down, this down, one? no down close on the, on the cartridge right here. Oh yeah. Close. <laughs> and then let's click the green button and return a dashboard. Return the dashboard. Yeah, click the green actions. So remember, oh. we're on the third click now. We save progress, we publish That's live, right, and we'll right. return a dashboard. So mm -hmm. exit here. Now let's go back to the business settings, the Facebook business settings to the left, the tab. Click on that tab. Okay, so now we're good over here. So right now we're going to click on add people. So click on add people. You got to add yourself, your name to the pixel. So click on add people, click on your, yours is already there. So now manage pixel, the admin access, shade that to blue, and then we're going to assign. Perfect. So hit done and then now refresh that red dot should turn to green. So refresh this page. Okay. So your pixel is active. You're good. And, 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 and now we're, 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 we're moving along, man. So, so now scroll to the left, everything is to the left, scroll down, 
we got data sources. Let's scroll down further. Now we're not going to bookmark pixel from here. I'll show you where to bookmark it from. Um, but let's X out of here. So scroll down, scroll down, scroll down to the left. We're, we're going below data sources. Um, scroll down. Yeah, scroll down. And so what we need next is brand safety. This is what you'll want to do next if you haven't already, but you'll want to hit domains. You'll want to choose that one domain. If you have one now, then that's great. But if you don't, we'll want to choose that one domain that you're going to use for Kartra. So that one domain, you're going to also integrate it here with, with this ads manager, with this, with this business manager. So, so, so what, do you, what do you mean? Like my website? Yes. Your website address. Yeah. I have a website. Okay. Perfect. So do you have it through GoDaddy? Oh man. Um, I think I merged it with uh, Squarespace. So it should be under Squarespace. Did you purchase it through Squarespace? I believe I purchased it through GoDaddy, but I merged it with Squarespace. It's been up for a while. So okay. So then you if you want to leave it there, then that then that's that's totally fine. Then that then you'll have to get a second one for for Kartra because it don't it can only go to one page. Mm -hmm. So it's either gonna go to Squarespace or it or or it's gonna go to Kartra page, you know? So that's go to one or the other. So you can you can decide on that later if you, if you need to, or you could just go get a second one, and and then that's the one you use for Kartra, and that's the one that you're going to use for for Facebook as well. Oh, okay, okay, um, okay. Well, let's walk through it. Let's walk through that process. Then. Again, okay. No so, do you do you use a Squarespace at all? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then, if anything, you'll want to get a different domain. If you're going to leave that Squarespace, which I don't, what 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 type of page is it for? What is it for? What what are you doing with that one? Oh, it's just the business page. Okay. So, I mean, if anything, I, I mean, it's up to you, but, but Kartra is for everything. Like I, I would use Kartra for everything, but mm -hmm. it's, it's up to you. So the same page that you have with Squarespace, Square, Squarespace, you can easily make inside of Kartra. Oh, so, nice. yeah. So, so I can always help you with that later. We can clone it and make it look exactly the same. I mean, I can, I can help you create the same exact page inside of Kartra. But my point is, is that we need we need a, a separate domain. So if, if you're going to leave that domain with Squarespace, then just go create a second domain, buy a second one through GoDaddy. And that's the one you'll use for Kartra. Oh, OK. OK. So, yeah, I might end up just doing the GoDaddy route. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, for sure. So this right here, why don't we just I mean, because the name that you have right now with Squarespace, that's not mm -hmm. the page you're going to be running ads to. No. So right. that's what this is all about. So this domain that we're going to put here is the one you're going to be running ads to. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's why I'm saying if you need to get a second one, then we'll get a second one, you know? Yeah. I have to get a second. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. and here's a little hack too, man. Here's a little hack on, on how to get us a, a GoDaddy one for, mm -hmm. for a discount. Um, if you go into open up another tab and just go to new incognito window, Go to new in yeah, just open up another one. And just go into new incognito. So just maybe hit the three dots. Yeah, new incognito window, and then just go to Google, go to google.com, and then um, and then right there in the search, type in cheap domains. And then what you'll see at the top is you'll see a GoDaddy ad. So the GoDaddy for ninety nine cents. Mm. Now in order to to, to get that discount you'll need to register it under a different email and a different credit card but mm -hmm. once you purchase it for a dollar you can merge it with your existing godaddy account hmm. that way you can have everything in one account and you don't have multiple accounts you know what i mean right right but but that's just the way you can buy it you know different email different credit card you get it for a, a dollar for the first year and then after that you know it's a 14 15 bucks or whatever but but right after you purchase it, you can for sure I can show you how to do it. You can just merge it and and add it to your existing account. Okay. But that way you don't have to pay the full price. You know what I mean for the first year. You know. Right. Just right. get it for a buck. But that's how you do that. So so later on, grab a domain and then we'll just get back to this part on the domain yeah. side. But that's what we'll have to do is we'll have to integrate the whatever domain you're using for Facebook advertising. We need mm -hmm. to we need to integrate it with Facebook. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, so let's go back to the business manager. Um, and we'll just get back to that part. 
And you know what? Why don't you um, why don't you bookmark this? Let's just bookmark this. Let's bookmark this and let's name it domain. Um, this is domains. We'll get back to this part. And we'll hit, yeah, we'll save this one. And then so to the left, we got, I think we got one more to the left. Scroll down. We have um, business info. So we want business info right here. You want to fill out as much of this information as possible. Um, it doesn't have to be a corporation. That could just be your DC marketing, your DC digital marketing, the business name, um, the address. Um, you'll want to put in all this information. The more information, the better in, inside of Facebook. Um, so let's fill this out real quick. And then the email is already verified. So you shouldn't have to, you shouldn't have to verify the email again. Um, and this website, go ahead and put whatever you have for now. Perfect. And then you don't need the tax ID, just click save and you'll be fine. Um, and then so, okay, so up the country. Okay, cool. So let's choose that. Um, I think it might be under United. Yeah, type in, type in United. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so save and then um, scroll down just a bit. We'll see, um, we'll see, go down a little further on the, in the middle, in the top to the right. That's as far as it goes? Yeah. Okay. So then let's see, refresh this page real quick. Normally you'll see a little bit more. You'll see web, you'll see email, but um, scroll down, see if you can go down. That's as far as it goes. Okay. Okay. So then that's fine then. Okay. So then to the left, there's nothing else to the left that we need. We just need to get back to the domain. So once you purchase the domain, we'll, we'll get back and we'll integrate it over here to the left. So okay. we're good here. We're good here. So now let's click on the dots to the, to the, to at the top, those, those dots at the top. And now we're going to bookmark a few other things. We're going to bookmark, let's go to ads manager and let's bookmark, let's bookmark from there. Okay, so here, just go ahead and put a no. Okay, cool. So now everything from this point on is going to be ran through this ad account. So let's bookmark this and let's name this one. Let's name this one dashboard. This is the dashboard. So, so this is where we're going to be able to see our numbers. This is where we're going to be able to run ads from. This is the dashboard. Okay, perfect. So now let's click the dots to the left and we're going to bookmark a few more and then we're good. And these are all the most important tabs. So let's click on, let's go to billing. Let's go to billing. Now we, we put the credit card in, but I'm going to have you save it from over here. So let's click on billing because the billing, knowing your click on, um, let's click on payment settings, click on payment settings right at the top, knowing your billing date is is really important so we're going to bookmark it from over here and we're going to name this one billing so right here let's name it billing so that's the card on file that's the billing date every 28th um as you start to run ads click on manage okay so because it's a brand new account Facebook just wants to know that you're you're legit. They want to know that you, that that credit card is okay. They want to make sure that when when they charge it, it's okay. So they start you at a very low threshold. So as you start running your first few ads, actually your first your first ad, as you run your first ad, you're going to be billed. Let's say you're running it five bucks a day, ten bucks a day, or whatever it may be. What's going to happen in the first few days is you're going to receive a bill every two dollars. So Facebook's going to charge that card every $2. So if you're running at five bucks a day, they're going to probably charge that card. Actually, not probably. They are going to charge that card twice a day, twice a day, every two bucks, right? So, okay. so that's only in the first few transactions. Once they charge that card, at least maybe the first three days, let's say the first day you're running five bucks a day, they charge it twice. Second day, they charge it twice. The third day, they charge it twice. It's only the first few days. And then that threshold increases. And then it'll go to maybe 25 bucks. Now you'll only get a, you'll get a bill every $25. And then once they bill it for 25 bucks, then you can, then you can increase it from there. Okay. And so what I do, go to an X out of that, hit cancel. Once you get past the threshold, I increase it way high. 
like I'll take it up to let's say 900. And that's, let's say, for example, 900 is, is an amount that you're probably not going to even hit the first few months, right? Because maybe you're, maybe you're only spending 300 a month, or maybe you're only spending 200 a month or 500 a month, whatever, maybe 900 a month, you're, you're not going to probably get to anytime soon, maybe not in the first few months. So the reason why I'll change it to 900 is because I'll never hit that threshold anytime soon. And I'll only be billed on the 28th. Mm, okay. okay. Right. So yeah, yeah. Instead of being billed every 25 bucks or whatever, you know, right, like I don't, yeah. that's just me. I don't want to, I don't want Facebook to charge me freaking every damn week. You know what I mean? Charge me once a month. You know what I mean? Right. So that's just me. I like to be charged once a month. So knowing your billing date is important. Knowing your, your card is important. And then, um, and then, and then scroll down your account spending limit. You can change that right there as well. So if you click on set your account spending limit, what I do right here is I actually, I don't like to set a limit. You, you can, but mm -hmm. if your ads are going, going good and you're capturing leads, the last thing you want that thing to do is shut off because you hit your limit. Right. right. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I wouldn't even put a limit, but, but you can always control that. But, but, but I wouldn't. Okay. And what I do when we set up ads, we can always set a calendar. So a start date, an end date, so we can mm -hmm. always know when that ad's going to end so we don't overspend and we'll do that in the in, as we set up the ad. So we don't need to do it there, but I'm just showing you, you have that option. Right. So we booked market from here. That's called billing. So now let's click on the, the, the dots to the left and we're going to click on, we're going to bookmark a few more and then that's it. We're going to go audiences. Let's bookmark audiences. And what we'll do for now, just, just because we already have it up and this is this will be for the example purposes, but this is this is just the framework and and what you can always you know expect to do. Click mm -hmm. on create a custom audience. We'll get more into this as we build out more pages. But go ahead and click on website, and then click on next. And what we'll do for now is we'll simply see. This is very weird. I don't know why we just set up a pixel. I don't know why it's having you set up another one. This is, we'll, we'll get back to this part. There's some kind of hiccup in Facebook right now because this, this is the third time that I've seen this happen with a client. We already mm -hmm. set up a pixel. Now it's making you set up another pixel. Just X out of this. We'll come back to this part. Oh, shoot. Actually, it's... I think it, I think you just created it. Oh. That's fine. That's fine. But but I don't I don't want to use that pixel. See, so now, now a second pixel was just created. I don't know why Facebook's doing that. We just set up a pixel, but now it's forcing you to set up another pixel, which yeah. I don't know why it's why it's doing that. I think it's some hiccup that Facebook is 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 going through right now. X out of this, and we'll we'll come back to this. But I want you to bookmark this. This is custom audiences. Custom audiences are the most important. So just name this one custom audiences. Custom audiences is creating audiences of everyone who's engaging with your stuff. So as people start to watch videos, maybe you're running video ads. As people start to watch your video ads, you're going to create a custom audience. Mm -hmm. As people click on your ad and come over to your landing page, but don't opt in, you're going to create that custom audience. As people come to your landing page and they opt in and they end up going to your landing page, you're going to create that as a custom audience. Mm -hmm. So these custom audiences are very, very important, man. This is where your money's at. Your money is in retargeting people who have engaged in your previous ads. Right. And engaging in your previous ads means they watched your video or they clicked and went to a, a landing page. Okay. So, so with that basic data, we want to create audiences to be able to retarget those in the future or maybe exclude and not target them in the future. So for example, if you're, if you're running ads to capture a lead, I go to your landing page, I enter my name and email, I then go to your thank you page, that's a lead. Anyone mm -hmm. who were anyone who, who, who were to ever land on your thank you page, that's a lead. Okay, right. so then that link, that thank you page URL is a custom audience. I name it in Facebook leads. Now, as I go run my next ad, I exclude that audience. Anyone who has already opted in, they don't need to keep seeing my ads, mm -hmm. right? That's custom audiences. So we'll build out those audiences as we go along. 
Um, but that's where your money's at. Your money is not in running is not in running one ad and expecting people to opt in. The money right. is in retargeting these people who have seen your last three ads. Okay. People who who watch your last three videos, they're all in a custom audience. I'm showing them my next ad. People who have all clicked went to my landing page, but haven't opted in. Those are all audiences that I'm going to retarget and I'm going to keep showing them more ads. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's how you start to build trust. And that's how you start to build that, that, that credibility. And that's how you start to build that omnipresence where people keep seeing you. Every time they come into their newsfeed, they're seeing another freaking ad on Dominic mm -hmm. because all we're doing is retargeting those who are engaging. Right. Only right. reason why you're seeing my ad because you clicked on my page. Only reason right. why you're seeing my ad because you watched my last video. There you go. Right? Those are yeah. custom audiences, and that's where your money's at. So this part's bookmarked. So now let's hit the dots to the left, and we're going to click on – let's click on Events Manager. I'm sorry. What did you say? Events oh, Manager. Okay. Yeah, we're going to click on Events Manager, and then um, over here, this is where we have to integrate the domain – and then this is also our pixel. So X out of this. Okay, so so that first one, default offline event. So that mm -hmm. might have been actually, um, let's see. So the other pixel, go back to the, the Karcher tab at the top, the Karcher. I think it's your download your free PDF. Go to that one. Look at the pixel on that one. Download your free PDF, the tab that's open already the top. So the Karcher one, download your, yeah, that one. Look at that pixel real quick. So that pixel, the last four digits, 9056. Uh -huh. Go back to the events manager. No, you don't got to copy it. Just go back to the advanced manager. So okay. 9056, refresh this page. See, so that pixel, I don't know why that pixel is not, is not showing now. So now what Facebook just did is they 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 defaulted us to this other pixel, which that's fine. We'll we'll use this other one. Oh yeah, it's not coming up. But the other one is is that new one, DC Digital Marketing's Marketing's pixel. All right. So that's the one we're gonna go off of. We're gonna go off of that one. So click on that one, and you can always rename it. You can always rename it. Um, and so we'll go off of we'll go off of this one. So scroll down, scroll down little further down in the middle. Yeah, right there down. We're going to go down to continue pixel setup. We're going to use this pixel. So Facebook pixel, click on that one and then connect. Okay. And then install code manually and then click the green one, copy and then continue. Yeah. Copy it and then continue. Make sure all this is turned on. So turn that on. Make sure everything is turned on. Perfect. And then continue and then X out. Now, here's what we're going to do real quick. X out of this. Yep. Let's go to Kartra. Not the download. You're free. Let's go to Kartra. That one. Yep. And then let's open up that page. Hit the three dots and go to edit on the page. We're going to replace that pixel. So hit the go three away. dots on the page. So down on the squeeze page, those three dots. That's how you go into the, no, to the right on the page, squeeze page. Oh. So those three dots, hit edit. It's all about the three dots. So whenever you see a page, it's the three dots. Click on the three dots. That's how you go back in to edit the page. Okay. So let's click on the green one. Let's edit this. Let's go back in. Let's hit settings to the left and tracking code. We're going to replace that pixel. I don't know why that first pixel didn't register, but it's all good. This is the one, this is the one we'll use. That's fine. So let's click on settings and then we'll click on tracking code. Okay. Yeah, this is just like the, the, yeah, the tutorial. So at the very end of it, you could just put don't, don't show again. So let's, um, is we'll come back in here, settings to the left and then tracking code and then replace that pixel. So you delete that one at the bottom and just paste in the new one. Okay, cool. So apply. So save progress, publish live, and then, and then grab, actually it's the same link. So yeah, just actions in the top, right? Save progress, publish live, 
and then return a dashboard. And then just refresh this page. So the new pixel should now be there. So click that helper. This should be the new one. Yeah. There it is there. So 0246. 0246. Um, so go back to Facebook, the events manager. And let's now let's now refresh this page. And we should be we should be good. So now you're gonna bookmark it from here. This right here is your pixel. So let's refresh this and let's wait for this to load. So now the 0246, that's your pixel. So close out this and now scroll down. So you'll see it right there to the right, 0246, and then scroll down a little further. Get rid of that top part. So you can minimize that top, that yellow. Yeah, right there. Yeah, get rid of that. Okay, so, so right here. So as your pixel starts to, as that page starts to get more activity, you'll see everything right here in the bottom, right where it says events. But right where it says add events, that drop down above add events, this is where you grab your pixel for future. So from a new website, so all you'll do is go from a new website and then, and then over here, install code manually, copy code, it's the same thing. So there goes your copy. So you can now get that code and go put it on, on another page. Oh, so nice. Hit, okay. Let's get out of here. So let's X out. We're going to bookmark from here and this is pixel. So let's bookmark from right here. This is pixel. Perfect. Done. Okay, cool. So last one. Dots to the left. Actually, you know what? No, no. The, hover over the blue triangle to the left and click on custom conversions. This is what we'll set up when we when we when we get a thank you page up. So let's just let's just bookmark it from now for now. Hit the star and just name this one custom conversions. Custom conversions. Okay, perfect. So now hit done. And now let's look at this folder real quick. So let's find this folder and let's see everything we just dumped into it. So yeah, it should be right there. So ads man. Okay, perfect. So as manager, here's what we got. Business settings are ad account, domains, dashboard, billing, custom audiences, pixel, custom conversions, and that's it. So th those right there, man. Yeah, I'd park that somewhere at the top. Like, yeah, I just try to put it at the top. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. click and drag. Yeah, just drag it. See if you could park it up there somewhere. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Click on it. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are your top eight tabs, bro. There's nothing else to know about Facebook ads other than other than how to fill in the blanks. So <laughs> once we once we get our links up, our thank you page for Kartra. Mm -hmm. Then we can, then we can add it. You know what? The custom audience Let's Actually, you know what? No, we're going to do that on our third call. I don't want to overwhelm us right here, but okay. this call was all about bookmarking. And then our next call will be all about filling it in, filling in the Perfect. custom audiences, filling in the custom conversions with the actual links from Kartra pages. Okay. So, okay. so um, yeah, so, so we'll say that for our next call and then, and then adding the pixel on the pages that's normally our next call, but we we already did we did that kind of right now. We added the pixel to the, to the squeeze page, so mm -hmm. it's those eight tabs that you'll ever really need to know ever when it comes to this whole entire platform. Um, right. So over the next few calls, I'll teach you how to actually run the ads. Um, but right now, what I what I really want you to do is is focus on focus on getting up another page with Kartra with Kartra. Okay. So we're good on the ads manager side. That's all we're going to need to to do on the on the ads manager side on call one, but but now go back to Kartra. What you'll want to do is you have a squeeze page. So if anything, mm -hmm. you can click on the green one. You can click on squeeze pages again and just look at all the other templates. Like if that's not the one you want to rock with, fine. We'll choose a different template. But right now, it's all about getting together a squeeze page and a thank you page, and then and then just really breaking down this Kartra site. It's, it's the squeeze page and there's a bunch of templates. So if you scroll down, there's a bunch of different templates. Um, so it's a squeeze page. It's a thank you page. It's all about breaking down this Kartra. Okay. Because all we really need for our next call is, is, a, is the squeeze page and the thank you page. Cool. And, and then, I and then know those. yeah. And I you know what, what we're going to do, do you know much about this Kartra site? You don't, not, not yet, right? 
No, man. Okay, no. here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. On our on our next call, we'll focus on Kartra. Sounds good. On our next call, because we're gonna need a few of these links to go fill in the blanks on what we've bookmarked. We we bookmark okay. custom audiences. We need some links. We bookmark custom conversions. We need some links. So mm-hmm. let's let's focus on Kartra on our on our next call. I'll teach you how to build out these pages on our next call. Cool. Sounds okay. Good. But in the meantime, make sure that you're also on the Tuesday and Thursday calls, bro. So what what time zone are you? Are you Eastern? Central. Central. So every Tuesday and Thursday at 3 p.m. Central, Carter does those live Q&As. So have you registered for that? Uh, No, I haven't. Okay, I'm going to send you the link right now. Let me send you this link. Just go ahead and I'm going to send it to you in the chat. Register for for both calls. Um, because I always tell people the first 30 days, try to jump on these calls. Like I just sent it to you in the chat. The first 30 days is so important to, 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 to understand this platform. And so all that is, is every Tuesday and Thursday at 3 PM, Karcher does a live Q and a where they jump on, they do a screen share, they answer questions. So you may not have a question, but I'm telling you right now, if you jump on that call, you're going to hear a million people ask a question. And those are all questions you had to cool. because they're all beginners. Everyone's learning for the first time. That's, that's what these calls are designed for. And Kartra, they jump on, they screen share, they, they put their camera on, they're showing their face and they're just going through and answering people's questions and showing you how to connect the dots. So even cool. if you don't have a question, jump on because you're going to have, you're going to hear a million, a million answers of, of shit you needed to know, needed to know yourself. You know what I mean? So the first 30 days, it's so important to really get acclimated and really jump into the community and start learning this stuff. Because I tell people all the time, man, if you're building a business today, small business, medium-sized business, whatever, and we're trying to build it on social media, it's Facebook ads and Kartra. Like those are the two things, bro. So I would I would dump all my energy. I'd put all my time. I, I would invest everything into learning Kartra and learning Facebook ads. And you got me for both. Cool. So, so, but in the meantime, these calls will help you a lot. They'll help okay. you a lot. Like these three people right here are freaking nerds, bro. Especially Daniel, <laughs> Daniel and Dezea. Dezea, I think Dezea, I think that's how you pronounce her name. Daniel and her, the guy at the top, he's kind of just, he's kind of just, he, he's smart too. He, he understands all this shit too, but it's really Daniel and that chick that, that, that are freaking, that's Karcher's support. Cool. So, they just answer questions and they're freaking just they're they're freaking geniuses at what they do man so these two platforms bro facebook ads Kartra, and you can build a huge business by mastering those two okay. so i'm here to help you with with both of them man but try to jump on those calls when you can and then and then let's schedule our, on our let's schedule our next call our next call will be all Kartra. we'll put together some pages um and then go from there perfect perfect cool all right, so, yeah, all right d thank you. I'll Appreciate send you this recording tonight, bro. And then let's chat ASAP. So let's schedule your next call when you have time. Okay, cool. All right, D. Talk to you soon. All right. Okay, bye. bye.